All right, people, um, it's obvious to me that there's still a huge amount of support coming from the uh, uh, the Syndicate Project fans. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, you guys are amazing with just the amount of comments and and responses that you've had to all my videos and stuff, and I just want to thank you for that again. Um, today's report is going to be really quick. Um, just got a few things I want to talk about. Uh, a friend of mine who owns a virtual pod gaming um, website, well, it's not just a website, but it's a, it's a store where you can you can play virtual world uh, pods. I don't know if you're familiar with them. They're, it's like Mech Warrior um, 4.1 Firestorm and also Red Planet, which is like a hovercraft um, game that you play in the mines of, of Mars. But he has both those games, and he's in Kirkland here where I live in Washington State. And... Um, you can go to his website. It's just uh, www.the-airlock.com and check out that. But Kelly is a really cool guy, good friend of mine, and he turned me on to this Kickstarter. And the Kickstarter is for um, ZCOM, which apparently is a uh, post-apocalyptic zombie movie, which are very popular these days. Um, I like the premise of what the movie is that they're shooting. It's an independent film. They've just reached their goal by like sixty dollars. Uh, they were asking for eighty-eight hundred, and they made it by sixty bucks. They have sixty-nine backers, but there's a hundred minutes left on this. Um, go check it out. I'm going to get the Kickstarter and put it in the description after I get done filming this video. But uh, these guys could definitely use your help. I, I really like the, what they're doing. They're, they're it's a low budget film, but to be able to get on get in on something like this it would be just awesome. And uh, they have a few uh, larger pledges available. Of course, they have uh, a lot of this, you know, the minor like dollar, two, ten dollars, whatever. But uh, you know, for T-shirts and, and what they what they're going to produce and stuff for the for the show. But uh, I just I just thought it was interesting. Uh, Kelly made a good point, you know, to look at this. It's an indie short film, and it's something that YouTubers will probably get to watch on YouTube eventually. And it's this guy's dream, and that's what this is all about. I mean, people doing what they love, waking up in the morning and striving and finding a way to accomplish their goals. I mean, we all start out with, with lots of drive when we get a new idea. But when we start to look at the layers of what we have to do to accomplish that goal, it kind of takes the fire out of it sometimes. So that's why it's really important for me to at least try to do a video a day. Uh, it really depends on my work schedule because, you know, I do have to, you know, have a living provided for my family and such. So, um, I'm sure it's all messed up. Anyway, uh, it's not like I'm a fashion queen anyway. <laughs> so, if you uh, if you guys can just go to the Kickstarter, just check it out. I mean, I'm not saying you have to pledge, but uh, I thought it was kind of cool that he sent me that. Sent me that. Um, if there's information or stuff that you want to send me, please feel free to do so. I will try to comment on it as best I can and uh, or find out solutions for you. Um, I'm a good resource hunter on the, on the Internet. I, I usually find ways to, to get things done for people as best I can. Uh, it's also part of my actual job because um, I am an Internet radio producer. Uh, of sort of of sorts, you know, I've got people that I produce shows for on Block Talk Radio, and um, and I also work alongside with TGN, Viso, and and Broadband TV, which um, are based out of Canada in BC, and I had the op opportunity to work my way up from being just a fan of a couple of the guys that were doing live casting at the time. And, and just put my two cents in and, and show my creativity and my dedication. And, uh, you know, I had nothing else to do but look for work and, and, and then do this on the side to kind of just give me some experience. And so I basically was adopted into the family. And uh, eventually now I'm actually working for, you know, broadband TV, um, which is awesome. You know, I, I've taken something that I just started out as just a, a fan, really dedicated fan, helping out this one show and, and trying to build the publicity around it. And they saw that I had talent and I had uh, energy and I was intelligent. And they're like, you know, we got to keep this guy on, on our staff because he brings stuff to the business. And, you know, that's what I've been trying to do every day. I try to find ways to to 
make my experience better, but also bring the monetary goods so I can, you know, for them to afford to be able to keep me. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to leave that description in, in the link uh, in the description below. Um, again, thank you so much, you guys. Uh, your comments are awesome, and they, they keep me fueled. They keep me moving forward. You know, if you, if you think that I'm, I'm the kind of guy that you think that you want to listen to more and see more of and try to produce more I, I would love to be doing game commentary you know like like Tom and stuff like that but I just don't have the time um, these videos are pretty much all I'm going to be able to do for right now until I get enough viewership once my viewership gets up and I start you know making some momentum on you on YouTube then who knows you know I might be able to do a lot I mean there's a lot that I want to do um, there's a lot of things that I can do and I'm working with clients daily to try to make this thing work for them as well. So um, please just join the family. You know, if you're into the Big Nate Show, spread the gospel. Um, I'm not a preacher, but I preach. If you get that. Anyway, um, I just like to talk to myself, I guess. But uh, hopefully the people out there are listening. Anyway, uh, you guys have a great weekend. Finish it up strong. Get ready for Monday. It's going to be a great work week. And, um, you know, everybody just have a great, great experience in life every day. Come out positive. Stay positive. Um, you know, don't let the man get you down. And always look to yourself first to get things done. And don't rely on anybody else unless you absolutely have to. But when you do rely on somebody, make sure that you go back and you thank them. Because those people, you know, are the ones that are going to make it happen for you, especially if you're in a situation where you're, you know, you don't have a lot of control in your life and you want to change that. So you have to go and get people to help you. And there's lots of people out there that will do it. But once you become successful, once you're out of that little funk that you may be going through, make sure you give props back to the people like I do with Tom and everybody else that's out there responding to my videos and stuff. Make sure you at least thank them because, I mean, that's what keeps people motivated to help other people out. It's not so much making money. It's not so much, you know, the, the limelight of the star power or whatever. It's more just, you know, two people connecting on a level that is mutually respectful. And that's it. So, anyway, check it out. I'll uh, talk to you guys later and uh, peace.